In this lesson, you will learn what you must do after you have refactored the graph to retest all of the affected use cases. In the previous challenge, you refactored the graph by adding actor labels to selected person nodes. After the refactor of the graph, you must test. First, you should identify the use cases that are affected by the refactoring. For the identified use cases, you rewrite any cipher that can take advantage of the refactoring. Then you test all queries that are affected by the refactoring, whether you have rewritten the cipher or not. They must return the same results that were returned before the refactoring. Then you profile your queries to compare the performance before and after the refactoring. In our small instance model, we will not see significant improvements in performance, but if the graph were scaled to millions of nodes, we would definitely see a significant performance improvement. So here is our first use case that is affected by the addition of the actor label to the graph. Our original query specifies the person label, and we rewrite the query to use the actor label. If we profile the query before the refactoring, we would have seen in our graph that it retrieves five nodes or rows in the first step. Using the rewritten query on our refactored graph, we see that fewer nodes or rows are returned in the first step. Here is our next query that is affected by the refactoring. We rewrite this query to use the actor label. Then we can profile this query to compare the query plans. And here is our next query that is affected by the refactoring. Again, we rewrite the query to use the actor label. And here is our next query that is affected by the refactoring. Again, we rewrite the query to use the actor label. And here is our next query that is affected by the refactoring. Again, we rewrite the query to use the actor label. And here is our final query that is affected by the refactoring. Again, we rewrite the query to use the actor label. For all of the queries affected by the refactoring, you must execute them and ensure that they return the same results as they did prior to the refactoring and rewriting of the cipher code. In the next challenge, you will retest the affected queries against the refactored graph. This completes our look at what you must do after you have refactored the graph to retest all of the affected use cases.